I'm going to be reviewing Drive My Car. And if you're on my TikTok, subscribe to my YouTube, Lil Mill. And if you're on my YouTube, follow my TikTok, Lil Mill on TikTok. Let's get into it. Okay, I'm going to be doing this off the top of my head because I just saw this movie like 10 minutes ago and it's fresh on my mind and I have no notes or anything prepared. Okay, overall, if you want to be entertained, do not go into this movie. It was literally one of, it is probably the slowest movie I've seen in my entire life besides Power of the Dog. Like, honestly, I thought it was a good movie. It was well directed, well written, well acted. Those are definitely the three standouts. But I honestly, besides the best international feature and adapted screenplay Oscar nomination, I don't think it deserved anything else. Like I don't deserve, I don't think it deserved the best picture nom, the best director nom. Because this is a really unique experimental movie. In the beginning while I was watching it, it started off incredibly slow and then as you progress in the movie it's like oh i understand why these scenes were happening like it didn't make sense at first it was like why are we even watching this it doesn't even feel like a movie and then you watch the and then the movie progresses and you're like oh these scenes had an impact because of this like x y and z off the top of my head yeah, i usually have notes prepared i probably shut up the acting was incredibly like it was good it wasn't oscar worthy but it was incredibly realistic i felt like i was watching someone's life and not necessarily a movie and it was very well written the moment someone speaks like the first sentence you hear like oh my god this is a, such a well written story already and the parts i found most engaging about this movie were actually i'm gonna first off i'm gonna start by explaining what this movie is about it's about an aging widowed actor who seeks a chauffeur the actor turns to his go-to mechanic who ends up recommending a 20 year old girl despite their initial misgivings a very special relationship develops between the two so throughout the movie we see this director um our main character i forgot his name but he's a director and we see him go through the like the process of developing a play like uh, the people who audition and like the script readings and eventually the play and the part where i surprisingly felt like where they were reading through the script that was weirdly the most entertaining part like i i feel like the director whoever he was he i don't know his name he can make something so simple as literally reading a paper so entertaining i know i said previously this is an entertaining movie what i meant is like it's investing it's not entertaining but investing and it's like a slow burn you have to have a lot of patience going into this movie and i'm not necessarily a patient person but i really tried to stay with this movie because i knew like it would eventually it would be worth it but if it was so incredibly slow every scene w felt like it was two hours but this i didn't really feel connected to any of the characters but i will say there's some twists like kind of twists or unexpected events that happen in the beginning of a movie like especially the first 15 minutes now that i think back on it that's like so much happened between like between the first 15 minutes like that window i was honestly shocked just like the character and then another twist happens to one of the characters that you don't i really expect um but it reminds me a lot of uh uh what's it called a psycho that's not a spoiler by the way actually that's kind of a spoiler oh there's this this is not really like a movie that has conflict it's really just following people and it really lets the grief of that these people are feeling soak into your skin and so i found there's one particular conflict among this one character who is kind of sus suspicious throughout the entire movie and it finally pays off so i appreciate that he wasn't just like a weird character he actually had I, I think some mental disability <laughs> and so he does something off screen too you're like what happened to that and i think like an hour later into the movie we find out what actually happens i thought that i thought that was really unique like they didn't show what happens he just walked off screen and we stay there and then he walks back and what, what you find out like what when you find out what actually happened in that scene it's like pff, whoa Another thing, if you're going to this movie, do not bring your family members. I'm so uh, relieved that I went into this movie by myself because it, it was like, overall, how I feel about this movie is kind of questionable. I don't, I don't think it deserves most of the Oscars that it got, but there are a few shots in here that I'm like, wow. And overall, I feel like um, the directing was good, but not worthy of a best director nomination like i said like over 
uh, Guillermo, 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 Guillermo del Toro, actually uh, over Joel Cohen, Joel Cohen, in my opinion, the greatest filmmaker of all time, who did the second best directed movie of all time, in my opinion, got snubbed. Like the only character that I found very like, uh, it sparked kind of emotion at me and I actually cared about the character was this one deaf character and she didn't really have that much depth, but actually let me rephrase that. She had a little bit of screen time but like a lot of depth for that little bit of screen time and i weirdly felt invested in our character and i'm not sure why still but there's not really a plot to it like it's a very simple plot but the execution of it is nice and if you like slow movies you're gonna love this uh like if you like the power of the dog you're mostly you're most likely gonna like this i did not like the power of the dog and i wasn't a huge fan of this movie honestly i'd give it a b plus i know a lot of people are saying it should win best picture i don't think that should happen at all like i don't even think it should have been nominated but um i feel like this is a movie that's gonna age well over the years like i don't think i understand it fully same with the power of the dog is it, it, I feel like I have to be a little older and do some more research about the story and actually see what other people think of like what it means and the themes to actually understand it a bit better. But if you want to be entertained, do not go into this movie. And if you want to see, if basically I'm saying if you have time, go see this movie. If you have like a full day off, go see this movie. Because I think even if you don't end up liking it, you still have to watch it because it's very different from anything I've ever seen. So anyways, guys, I'm hoping to post my review of X, the horror movie by A24 this week. And also as many of the Best Picture nominees as I can because I'm going to be watching them throughout this week because my movie theaters are showing it nearby so if you guys are on my youtube follow my tiktok little mill on tiktok and if you guys are on my tiktok subscribe to my youtube little mill thank you guys Dude, there were like 40 people here i'm not gonna play any songs sorry guys so i was like can you play me a song real quick bro i need some motivation finishing this food uh i can't play because of youtube i'm gonna get copyrighted and this is a movie review so oh uh, <laughs>